Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Conflict of Nation, World War III, and it's game time. We had a dude come over and he just launched a nuke on my capital. So as you can see, it is radiated, it's right here. Now, after they get hit with a nuclear bomb, you have to decontaminate it. So there's a little button there. It's at Hills right now. I'm gonna send a guy to it. All right, let's see. Um, so Maui, he just came out of nowhere. He's been launching missiles all day, just willy-nilly. I think he's just done with the match because nobody wants him because he's he's pretty crummy. He's not a very good player. He just <laughs> doesn't make people happy. Anyways, um, he's hit Morocco twice already. And here's Maui. He's tiny. He still only has five cities, five cities, only 68. Um, I don't know what his deal is. Devils of war, um, devils of not using your brain. But anyways, we're going to go look at his profile. Rank 33 and he's not too bad, but he definitely still on the sucky spectrum. Not very good good intelligent wise and that here at the very bottom he's been in 37 matches only two coalition wins that means to win he had to be carried by his team he could not actually pull it out himself so that's pretty interesting um think being a rank 33 he should start to learn but uh give a shout out to devils of war um your gameplay is confusing bro um so as you see all the way here at the very top I am ranked one, 711 points, and and I just got my capital nuked, but that's fine, because once that's done, he barely did anything, I do have to, I may not even have to upgrade that again, I think that one's still good, I just have to take this back to a level 5 to make my elite bombers, I did manage to pop one out, and look at that, it's right there. This monster is ready. This is a stealth bomber. This can actually go past enemy's lines without triggering a war. So if I flew him in and did like a patrol in someone's area, it would not trigger war. It's kind of interesting. Starts off with a, I mean, this is as far as he can go. He's a 15 damage um, it, against hard targets. It's 7.5. Boats is a 5. Buildings are 10, and population is affected. Uh, the speed down here at the very bottom is not the very bottom one, but the 11 right above the 0 0.01. It's an 11. Um, if you want to see what, like, a jet is, wondering where they're going, they're going over to Maui. So we're going to click on this. So uh, after the stats, if you look at the very bottom, your jet does a 12. So the Elite Bomber does an 11 your jet is a 12 and that's the speed um i am sending more bombers where are you at you are coming all the way from the, oh wow you guys are traveling i got three here they're i'm sending them singly because they already have a lot of damage done to them i will cover that strategy later in a different video but okay so i've already leveled these guys up to like level four and they're pulling a nine and a four so my elite bombers are already better and their speed is a 10. So regular heavy bombers, 10. The elite bomber, 11. And your jets are 12. Um, and if you ever pack them together, remember your entire fleet is as fast as the slowest member in the stack. So uh, just be careful of that. So what we're doing is I got this airfield built. No, that's good. I got this airfield built. It's built enough that I'm sending, I'm sending my jets. So, I got 10 jets here. Um, his, he shot from this direction, so I think it's a sub. If it's a sub, I won't be able to see it with my jets. I'm also bringing my boat over. He'll be able to see it. Um, but just in case, it could be something else. I'm sending him over to look and see if there's something he can see. If not, he'll go camp out, protect my main area. But I'm sending 10 jets over here. They're going to land. 
I'm going to nail this building. This is kind of my main target. If you see down there, he has a level four naval base, and that's how he's creating the subs. You see this, the ballistic missile subs, and this is how he's, he's shooting those, um, those nukes. He made such a dumb call on his strategy. I don't, I don't understand what he was doing. Uh, he doesn't have anything. His stuff is just weak, weak, weak. He doesn't really have anything. Everything's a level one. Um, which tells me he could, like this one says that he could be building National Guard. He could be building infantry. Um, I don't know if he's upgraded anything, but yeah, he definitely doesn't have much. So I was kind of surprised that he did what he did. Um, but, so, okay, so my goal is to drop this so he can't build any more subs. And in the meantime, my, sh my jets are going to sit right here. And they are just going to patrol this area. And they're going to bomb these. And make sure that there's no skies on it. And then once my guys land here, they're going to jump off. And they're going to come over and we're going to start taking them out. And once I take it out, I will build another airfield. And then from going here and offloading them and then coming over to here, I will then be able to fly straight from here to here. So that will save a lot of time. That way they only have one offload. Look at him. He looks so cool. See, stealth makes no sound. Let's see. Turn the volume up. Ooh, quiet. And let's see these ones. Sounds the same. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, so that's the idea. I will give you an update as they get closer. I'm really hoping that they don't have anything on those cities, like anti-air or anything. So hopefully my bombers stay safe. Um, but I'll, I'll update you as I get closer. Okay, as you can see, we have landed. We've gotten a lot closer. So my jets are actually refueling. They're almost done refueling. And then we're going to check out and see what's on these two cities. Uh, I got troops. I'm sending more jets over. I got troops coming in. My bomber's going to hit that city. Um, more troops. More troops. More troops. Um, and they're all going into that spot. You got to be careful when it comes to your bombers. The, the One of the bad things about bombers is that they cannot have... They don't have any defense or anything against jets see that it's completely zero there's absolutely nothing there right under the 7.5 with the icon of the jet there's that it's just blank um jets can beat up on these things all day long and not take a single smidge of damage so that's a really big downfall when it comes to bombers so what i'm trying to do is i want to make sure that i clear the way so i'm gonna take this dude and i'm going to attack that to this dude and I want to attack his other city now what I'm looking for along the way as they journey through the water I'm looking for any little bubble any little blue bubble and the blue bubble represents um, identifying a certain type of troop it could be a boat it could be just regular troops it could be an airplane normally airplanes are like a green bubble um, so yeah it looks like before my bomber even gets there I'll be able to see if there's anything on that city, like what I'm hoping there's not is no like anti-air. If there's anti-air, then we could be in trouble. And I would just kind of veer him off to just coming to this island so we don't travel all the way back. Um, while I take care of that city. So that's the idea. So as they go, I want to kind of keep an eye out for little bubbles if there's anything in the water. Because... Once my troops get there, I'm going to want to try to take one from this, get them down in the water, and have them probably come down. Oof, I don't know. I'll probably have them come down because I feel like this is a faster way to come down and go right into this one. I really want to take this one out. But the problem is, is if they have subs, like submarines, my jets will not be able to see them. And if my troops are in the water, then they will and can get stuck and killed so there we go they are flying so just in case that's going to happen what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take one of these guys i'm going to take the one infantry because he does have the the um 
projectiles on it. He does have the artillery that he can shoot at a distance. So I'm going to sacrifice him and take him through the water. If he makes it, he'll get to that city. I'll run past that city, get to the land. I will build an airfield. And then directly from here, I will send them directly over. And then they won't even have to touch the water. That'd be the best idea you could do as long as he doesn't have any anti-air. Because subs can't hit airplanes. So, yeah, subs, are, they don't do anything against jets and air units. But if they're in the water, you can be in trouble. Okay, so I don't see any bubbles yet. They're starting to spread out a little bit more. Here's my other bombers. There's three here, and they're just stacked on top of each other, so you can't see all of them. Um, yeah. We're getting there. I want to see what's in this one right here. This is my main one that I want to see what's there. I want to make sure that my bomber can hit them. You know what? I might... Because that is a long journey. I wonder... I think I'll just send them there. So if I just veer them to target there he'll go park there instead instead of making that big haul and then i only have to go from here to here and we can empty that city pretty quick while i have jet support so let's just keep fingers crossed that he doesn't he's not smart enough to build any other boats to actually defend his stuff i think he built up to level four on his docks and built one sub just so he can launch um nukes which is such a i don't know i don't think he really cares about this map i think he's just in here to just torment people i guess but it's funny and we're getting there's still no bubbles nothing around so that's good i'm gonna let that is a really cool looking bummer that is really cool looking my goal was to get like 10 of these things and then I am actually technically working on getting nukes right now. I got this missile going. I already have, oh, not that one. Um, I already have 18 nuke bombs. So, yeah, I just need to build the missiles that I can attach to my bombers. And then if I had 10 bombers, I could fly them all over and just hit 10 cities at once and just light them up. That was my plan. So, uh, but my tactics are a lot smarter than whatever random thing this was. I don't know. And he's not even in the coalition. He's all by himself. I don't know. No one to help him or support him. It's pretty sad. We're getting closer. I still don't see any bubbles. So this is great. So far, the waters are clear. Now, there could be a sub. You, you can't see the subs with the, the jets. I'm not entirely sure if bombers would be able to identify that. I don't think so. Oh, we can carry three missiles at a time. That's cool. St stealth. Um, yeah, soft surface vehicles like boats and hard vehicles is what they can actually see. They will automatically engage... So I don't think they can actually see uh, subs. So, yeah. Still no bubbles. This is going great. I want to see what's on the city. Hopefully there's nothing there. And then I will attempt. Come on, fly faster. Oh, actually, I want to note this. I will tell you the speed by airplane. It is not telling me. Does not tell me speed by air. Unless it's that bottom one, the 1.30. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. I'll have to do my research and find out. Oh, okay, so there's a bubble on there. You see that bubble? So we already targeted it. So let's go see what it is. Hopefully it's not anti-air. So we're going to check out, we have 130 hit, uh, hit points. So based on the damage that it does, will tell me how much, either how many troops are there or the type of items that's there. So it'll give you a small little icon. So it won't tell you numbers unless you have an 
a good radar, which these don't. They have the drones. I'll show you that in a second. I want to see what this is real quick. Yeah, the little drones that you can get. Okay, so that sign right there, that could be an anti-air. That is a support vehicle, the one on top. The helmet is just basic infantry or a, a troop of some kind, soft target. But he does have a support unit. Now, we were at 130 health. Oh, you see that? Okay, so 127.5. He has nothing. You want to know what that is? That right there, my friends, is that projectile that you start with. So if you go to support, it's this one. That Everyone starts with one in every match. It's a towed artillery. And he still has his. Or maybe he's making them. But... That's what that is. It does no damage to jets. So what that tells me is he has basic infantry, and they always do like a, a small amount. So his basic infantry, uh, he could have about two or three there, and they are probably rank, um, rank two, I would think. Rank two, maybe three. You usually get a bigger boost when you hit that third upgrade so oh we were talking about the drone so when it comes to your fighters and see this little drone over here i'll show you this one in our next video um these give you full detail of so you, you see how we looked at that city and you can only see the icon of the type of troop troop of the category that they're in now, this one, when you get it close enough, it'll tell you exactly. It would show you that artillery. It, it would show you how many of that artillery. It would show you the troop. It would tell you their level. It would tell you how many. Um, so this one will give you full details. It's slower, but it does reveal full details. And the speed on this is a 5. That's really slow. <laughs> but um, they are kind of cool, and they are cheap. I have used them. They're neat. Um, and you can actually cross enemy lines and spy on cities. And it will not trigger a war. So that's that's good to know. But I will show I will show that on my next match. I will make a video just based on them. Oh, we're getting closer. Let's see if there's anything here. If there's nothing here, I'll just let them hit it. Let them do some damage to the buildings. Uh, but then I'll relocate him to hit this one. That way I can double slam that. Oh, this guy just got here, so go ahead and hit that. So we're going we're going to shoot them dead. Let's see what's here. So far we're looking great, guys. Oh look, this bomber is good to go in now. I feel very confident that he will not be hurt. Remember, I got to protect him. Anything, um, yeah, he he doesn't. He doesn't have any defense against air air support or anti-air. So I really got to watch him and baby him. They can do good. The amazing thing is their range, guys. And I'll show you that in a second. They're about to come up on the city. Okay, once you pass that threshold, once the closer he gets to that middle. Normally I would see a dot, but I don't see it. Or a bubble. I don't see a bubble, but... Sometimes checking on cities can be tricky. It looks like this city might be empty, actually. And if it's empty, I'm going to take him. Okay, that one's empty. So I'm just going to have him not waste a hit and just go hit that. Um, cool. Awesome. So now I have two options. I have two cities I can walk into. When I unload, I will probably take one to this one and one to that one. It'll give me a double shot. So if he has a sub... He might catch one, but the other one might get through, and that's kind of what we're planning here. I can even take National Guards and shotgun them. That would be fun. Okay, so we're going to let them go. Oh, yeah, we were talking about range here. Okay, so check this out. If I hit attack, and this is the stealth bomber, look at the circle. You see the lines here? See that line right there? 
it covers the entire United States, South America, pretty much almost the whole map. The only thing it doesn't get is China and the back of Russia. See that? You cover that whole thing. Now, when you go to a jet... Oops, sorry, don't attack yourself. Okay, when you go to a jet... Boom, that's it. Do you see, you see the difference between the bombers and the jets? Okay, but the jets... Jets, when you're taking things over... For instance, so... When you're building and you need to take things over, you build these little airfields all over the place. So when you're walking people in, I have one here, but that's for my city. Um, when I when I came over here and took this, I put one there, and I bombed all these cities. I took them all over. <coughs> came up here. When I got it up here, I built another one. See the distance from there? So if I hit... If I hit attack... Okay, so you see that range? It's just barely out of that. So every time I passed that bubble and I could not reach another city, I built another one. So then it would take me out this much farther. So, And you, you can attack a little bit outside the ring. Not much and not all the time. It really depends if the game is going to be nice to you. But you can hit these. I could hit all these. I could hit that one. And yeah, I can support one if I get rogue state coming in and then from there from this spot i then built one over here see we're just inside the circle this time okay and then let's see i wanted to build one once we got closer okay so i'm coming up to these three cities i'm gonna take this oh i don't have enough resources darn it i will build one right here when i can i need a little bit more of this we're close but i just don't have enough yet whoa low battery plug it in so that is the idea and as we continue i will show you what happens when the bomber hits okay so we are a lot closer now this guy just hit could not finish him off this guy's going to hit luckily right before our bomber and hopefully uh, our bomber will finish it um just hoping so this guy just landed so i'm gonna attempt this and what you want to do you're just gonna grab one it's automatically going to pick the closest route for you Ooh, and it wants it to go up okay that's fine let it go this will give me a good i'm sacrificing these guys if they die they die if they don't fantastic and i didn't have to waste anybody and then that two stack of national guards my babysitters they will go down since that city's empty <coughs> Okay, so this guy's coming in. Right after we see if we can clear this, we will go into uh, what it takes to build uh, the regular bombers, the ones that are still coming in. Where you at? There you are. But, I mean, they were coming all the way from middle America, so we're good. And then this um, stealth elite bomber. They're... They're a little, they're quite a bit more. Okay, let's see. Is he going to finish it off or are we going to leave it for the bomber to, to finish it out? Okay, so he's still there. Oh, oh, you see a bubble coming in, guys. See a bubble coming in? What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this. I'm going to tag that bubble. Now, I'm thinking it could be a boat. <coughs> oh, he got six there now. How did he do that? Oh, no. Okay, that's... Okay, so he has six. Somehow it revealed it. Oop, I did lose... No, I didn't lose a jet. I think that was a stack of four. Okay, you see that? So they're all level ones. How freaking sweet is that? That is just funny. Yeah, so level ones don't do much of anything. No wonder it only lost like two points when I got hit. That's just funny. Okay, sweet. So yeah, he has a bigger stack. I may or may not be able to finish it. Let's see if it can reveal him again. And we'll try to look at the health on it. That was nice. Um, this guy's going to come over and bomb that. Okay. Oop. Get back over here. I'm curious about that bubble up there, though. I don't like things sneaking up on me. He's trying to reinforce something. But we'll see. 
so. Come on, reveal them. What is it? Is it not going to? Come on. Boom, hit him. I took, yeah, about 2.4 damage, not bad. But we did find out that it was a stack of six. So each one at a level one, they have uh, 15 hit points. Um, and then their little um, artillery, their pull artillery only has 10 hit points. Um, so 15 times six and then plus 10, you can do the math on how much we're doing damage. And remember on the soft targets, we're only doing a 15. So each time this hits, it's pretty much killing one dude. Now these ones, my strikes, I got them up so each one, each jet does five damage. So pretty much the three jet, the three that I have on this stack does exactly what that bomber does. Now this little dude, this one's meant for more air-to-air -air combat. That's why it does more damage against jets. So he's only doing a two to soft targets. So yeah, these things are hard to get up to. They're very expensive. Um, when you can pump these out a whole lot faster. And they're a level three. And this right here is doing about 25 damage. So this will kill a guy and take another one's half of its life. Um, and they're faster than the bombers. <coughs> I do like how the bombers have such an amazing range. Like if you see that ring, oh my goodness. That is... It's been kind of useful in this match. Don't get me wrong. It's been fun. Um, when I had when I was in Mexico and I was able to bomb the United States capital, which was Washington, um, that was that was awesome. I didn't have to walk through and get closer and set up things. So that was neat. Because what I did is I actually put guys here, here, here. I put it on every city that it had. I had one sitting in the water. So when I actually declared war on him, I went into every land that he had and just started bombing. It was fun. But yeah, I completely surrounded him. Okay, so you are going here. My other one is trailed over there. Okay. They're just going to keep going. These bombers are not here yet. <coughs> so we're going to go and talk about what the requirements are then. These ones are level four. And they do a nine damage for each one. I got three of them. Um, oh, let's see. Let's talk about... Let's show the damage on buildings. So this one does a 7. And this Elite Bomber does a 10, I believe. Yep, it does a 10. So what is required here? So if you come... I wouldn't even want to see that because it's healing, which is almost done. It only takes like 3 hours of real time to heal that. So not a big deal. I'm going to come over here and you go to heavy. So I started as these ones right here. And what you need is a level three base, uh, air base, and a level one's arms industry. And then you just need the um, research for it. It's really not that crucial. Um, the only thing that's really special about them is that they have that range. So if you really want that range... These ones would be good, but just remember that when I normally play and people use bombers against me, I have a field day with it because I just attack them all day long with my jets. I take absolutely no damage, and they spent a lot of resources just trying to get those bombers. Um, so, yeah, it be your call. But it, besides the range... Um, I don't see a big need for them. Um, this stuff one, this one's cooler. Uh, but look, you need an air base level five. Come on, guys, that's rough. Um, secret weapons lab. And then, you know, level one, arms industry level one. And the research, still not a big deal. The only thing that is very time consuming is that 
level five airbase and then everybody can click on your stuff and see that you have a level five airbase which then makes you a target so pumping him out i think that's probably why he nuked me because he nuked that one building that had that capability um so this one's this one's cool it's almost as fast as the jets not quite it's still slower um that range is incredible really awesome but then this one does have that ability to sneak in undetected and not declare war on people so besides the range and the sneaky stealth again he, he can't defend against jets he can't i don't know that's the only positive that i see about it but see he only does a 15 when three of my jets did a 15 at level three and i spent a whole lot less on those than i did on this and a lot less time so then you gotta, yeah, all depends on your tactic. Um, I'm so used to using the jets, they're, they're faster. Um, I pump them out really quick. Like right now I got three, I got three air fills. This one, this one, which is hilly now, and this one. So by like day four, I already had like, so I want to say like nine, which is really nice. Okay, I don't have a thing. It just said that he hit, so the stack is still there. See that? So if I click on that, the 23rd Strike Wing engaged the 3rd Infantry Division, and it, it made it dark red. And click off of that, it changes back. So it just, it didn't say anything was eliminated, so therefore they're still there. Okay, so we saw this little tag that I put right here, right above that city. Um, my jet is now on his way there. I noticed something that was weird, though. So one of the big problems is because all we saw was a bubble. It tells you that there's a troop there, but it doesn't tell you who or what it is. So I tagged him while he was here feeling. The moment that he stood up, and started flying. I got a message. And saying that. Me and Mark. Mark Rowe. Mark Rowe has. Then changed peace to war. So now I'm going to war with him. So I thought about it. And messaged him. And I said why would you declare war on me. But then when I thought about it. I actually declared war on him. Because I bet you. I bet you. That that is his troop. Now. Let's see, if I, first, I'm going to go into messages, I'm going to go to new trade, not right away, do not do right away, guys, people give me right away all the time, and I go in and I take them out, don't do it, um, so I'm going to send him an offer, when he comes on, what I want to do, though, is I want to check it out and see what it is, I'm going to go, I hope it's not a boat, <laughs> especially an anti-air boat, so I'm just going into patrol, and see if it's him. I'm pretty sure it is. Because the moment that you actually get in flight. And you're going towards that bubble. If it's a different person that you're not at war with. It will automatically declare war. So that is a problem when you see random bubbles around. If you just try to shoot it. Thinking that it's someone you're already at war with. It very well could not be. So then you could be declaring war on a new person. Which if it's the wrong person then <laughs> you might have uh, some uh, talking your way out of it to do. So let's see. I'm very curious on see who that is. I'm pretty sure it was his. I'm hoping it's not a boat. 127 is our health. It's a boat. I'm probably going to take some good damage if it's an anti-air boat. But if it's him, I don't really want to hit him um, just because... I don't know. I'm not trying to expand too far. I just want to get rid of this dude that's shooting nukes at me. <laughs> Normally, I like taking on multiple targets at once, but not overseas like this. I want to get over first. Once I get a good amount of people, then I'll take on this whole continent all at once. But I want to see. I bet you that was him, Morocco. Got troops showing up. 
Some are still working on getting off the island, and they will turn to little boats. Once they turn to little boats, they are in the water, and that's a scary idea because then subs can find them. And I don't see any boats around here, so... Okay, there's the bubble. So now we're going to see if it's actually Morocco that we declared war on. Um, we're getting close. It will show me the flag. Come on. And if I can, I'll just go hit that city down there as long as he doesn't hit me first. Come on. Show me the bubble. We're almost there. Oh, yep, see, okay. Now see, he is shooting that city. He's, okay. We are going for it. Yep, see, he didn't bother me. It is only a Corvette, we're good. He doesn't have anti-air. That's an easy, easy boat to kill, especially with your air support so that's that's easy um i wonder if he killed the last of them but yeah no that's neat that he's over here shooting at him i want oh he's down to a level three shipping dock nope see he still has a dude there no nope, we're just gonna keep doing it as our guys are unloading and making their way over oh look my bomber's ready again he's going in for his second one now see this where can my can my jets reach Okay, so my just can reach the capital. So that's what I want to do next, is I want to bomb his capital. And forget it. I'm just going to bomb his capital with that one. I'm going to check out and see what is in the way of there. I'm pretty much clearing out his entire city before I even get troops on his land. It's nice. Okay, we'll leave Morocco alone. Hopefully, if he doesn't accept my thing, we will have to take his boat out because he will automatically start shooting at me. And I don't want to do that, but I did offer him peace, but he may not be on. Okay, coming to it, let's let's look at this mess real quick. Wowzers. Got more people coming in. Um, so if this character was smart, I would nuke this. <laughs> I would send a missile right there on this tiny little island because it is cram packed with people, but we'll see if he has the brains to be doing that. Um, I bet you something of his next move would be to probably hit this little spot right here, um, where everything is a one. You're like, yeah, that's what I want to hit. Yeah, that's his, that's his weak spot. <laughs> uh, no, this right here, mm, may not be the smartest idea putting all these troops here. Because one little nuke could really do some damage here. But we'll see. I don't think he thinks that far ahead. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, don't mind him. He's coming in too. He wants to join that party. Um, so here's my guy. He's he's almost to the capital. We're gonna find out if there's something there. Um, we're still bombing the dude that's here. Hopefully this is the last jet. There's that one coming in still. Um, oh, a little update on the war with Morocco. It is over. Um, he just got on, and when he got on, he changed. He sent me a message. And then he changed the piece, um, and he said he didn't know what happened. Show ya. Uh, he says, I don't know how. And I said, uh, I sent him the piece. I said, it was my fault. I sent a blue bubble, and fighting my way, I thought it was him. So I tagged it with my jet, and that's when it declared war on you. I did not attack it. I turned my jet away from hitting your boat. Um, the dude seems like a pretty understandable guy. If he was a, I don't know, he doesn't have a name. Pick a name, bud. That way we can give you some shout outs. Um, but he, yeah. He needs a better coalition, one that's going to help him. But it's not me. His, his, he's a little too weak to be in my party. Let's see. Well, I just aren't there. Uh, anyways, oh, there is a bubble. Let me see what kind of bubble this is. So let's look at our health. It is a 125.6. So 125.6. Let's see what we get dropped down to. 
Um, he is rolling with level one troops, so really don't have anything to worry about. Let's just hope that there's no anti-air. Most likely, it's either he will have his jet here if he still has it. He didn't get it killed, but because you always start with the jet. So hopefully, that's all that it is. I'm going to find out right now. And we're just going to straight up hit this right here. Okay, so he does have a... Oh, probably a tank that he starts with. He has some infantry and he does have his one jet. His airfield is a level one, so he's not building anything incredible. And he's not using his jets because, you know, I'm sending jets all the way into the middle part of his land here and he hasn't done nothing. Uh, you're missing the dot. Go <laughs> It does that sometimes. Um, just give it a second. Come on, stop hesitating. There we go. Thank you. My goodness. Ooh, I got three. What's the third one? Ooh, let's see. A uh, strike. I eliminated something, and then. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I eliminated that one. Nice. Look at that. That one's gone. That city is now empty. Now, will you get off the island? Get off the island. Get in the boat. And get your butt over there and take that city. My goodness. If this was Survivor, I would vote you off that island. Oh. <laughs> Too many troops are making me nervous now. <laughs> he can shoot a missile every three hours. So I'm hoping he does not shoot one at that little island. Um, that would... Uh, yeah, that would hurt a lot. Not a big fan of that idea. But... You know, we'll see if he has the brains to uh, to strategize that idea. Okay, so... Oh, it was a 125.6, I believe it was. So we dropped a little... About 4.2. No, a little bit more than that. But it wasn't a full 5. So that's good. That's really good. Um, okay, so since this is now done killing that city we're going to tell them to go even farther is there another jet in here oh i do have my other bombers they did show up oh but they drop a five these ones are damaged quite a bit they don't do a lot so i'm going to attack them with a single so if he's a 12 he'll take a five damage that would suck i We'll hopefully break down something with my bomber. Yeah. Now, the reason I'm breaking these up, guys, is because if you... These things have 26 health in total. And since they're only rolling a 12.7, when you put them together, they share health. So, once this that guy comes back and he packs in with these other two, they will all share health again, and then each one, because each one's gonna start with 12.7 right now, each one would be even lower. So, I'll come over here. Oh. I'm gonna attack this. Again, 12.7. So as they pack back up again, they will share health and they'll have the exact same health. After I do this one bomb with them, I will send these ones back to heal. Because the last thing I want is for them to die. Did I send it? No, I did not. Why did you not send attack? Hey, guy. Get your butt out there. Oh, as you notice, when he's parked, he has a... 7.4 out of 15 but then when you get them to move see it's a 12.7 out of 26 they have more health when they're flying they have a major disadvantage when they're on the ground that's what that's the idea behind that so jets and airplanes are meant to be in the sky that's where their full potential is when they're grounded they, they're, they're not moving, they can't defend themselves, they can't attack, they, they're useless. So, it's the same thing with the jets. 
If they're not in the air, they're not getting their full potential. Okay, here's an update, guys. We are... <laughs> this is getting interesting. So, we are about to border. And we are about to go take over. But... <laughs> Morocco decided for some reason after I got all this time bombing these cities and emptying them, he decided to rush a stack down and now he's trying to take this one. So what I did is I moved down here and I went this path. It was a little longer and he sent boats past. I was wondering what he was doing with those boats because he walked them right through and now he's over here bombing the city. But what he doesn't understand is that the city is already empty. So I got two of my runners. They're going to come here and there and I'm rushing them. That's what the yellow means is you're rushing them. So they move faster, but they do lose health as they run. Um, so what I'm going to do is completely cut them off. I'll take that one and I'll take this one after I get this one, um, which will cut him off from branching out any farther. But if he does attack me, I got my jets ready. They will blow him uh, out of the water. I will then... I don't know. He, he just made himself my next target. Like, he honestly did. The fact that I'm over here emptying this and he comes up, he wants to take it after I cleared it. Yeah. And I, I was being a nice person. I let him be. So when I get my, my nukes ready, I will practice my nukes with my bombers on his cities just to show you guys... Um, and that should be hilarious. I'm going to laugh, but yeah, I got four bombers. I got them headed back to hill a little bit. So they're going to where I have a med station and they are, yeah, here's this little setup so that can hit four cities. Each one I can get to launch a missile. That should be fun. My nukes are almost ready, as you can see right here. I'm on the last one where I can attach them to my... I can attach them to my, my airplane, so that should be fun. Hopefully everything works out. I've never done nukes before, so we're experiencing this together. And the nukes will be based on its own video so hit that subscribe button hit that like button follow me so when i release that video you are fully aware of what it takes to make them if you haven't made them before it can be a little bit confusing so yeah we'll deal with this together here's my my capital that has been nuked one hour and 22 minutes in game so that's only what 15 like 20 minutes left and my capital will be back up and running, and then I'll just build some more buildings that were there. Uh, no loss. I moved all my troops, so I didn't lose anything before the missile hit, so it was all good. Um, yeah. Let's see, I am. It's my red dot. Yeah, so both my red dots have already passed his. Um, once I take control of that city, he should automatically stop attacking because we're not at war. But if he, there is a possibility that it could trigger a war. And if it does, I'm just going to go over there and kick his head in. So, <laughs> not a big deal. There's a rogue state. It said it eliminated it, but I did see a circle there. So, there's still a circle there. Yeah, so that's the idea of the bombers, guys. Kind of interesting. I uh, have to say they're, they're not my favorite. A little bit of a hassle to get them up and going. They're slower. Um, there's a lot of cons. And the pros that I see with them is uh, if you get the elite one, you do have a stealth uh, ability. And we're going to test that out when we come to making nukes. Um, and then their long, long flying range. That is definitely cool. But besides that, 
I don't think that they're my favorites. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.